Welcome to an SFB Addict video. All right, we have another game here. This one is a uh, another variant of SH-56. We chose three races, a uh, ship roughly around 125 BBV. I chose uh, Gorn, Zinti, and Klingon. And my opponent uh, chose uh, Federation, Liren, Vudar. And it ended up being a, uh, a Zinti a drone cruiser versus a Federation heavy war destroyer with option mounts. And this is the game. And I did get OBS Studio recording the audio, so this is the audio of the game as it actually played. Okay. Scouting organizations not to retreat. He would put organizations in place like Stalingrad. He said you cannot give up the mission ground. Turn one energy allocation form. Discord. Armies move up and back in you. You have to be Hit responsible. my EA submitted. You can't understand Adolf Hitler's actions in World War II without understanding the lessons he learned from World War I. One of the lessons he learned was you never give up, that you never surrender. He was so traumatized by the German surrender in World War I that he was determined under no circumstances would he surrender in World War II. And we're 34 hexes apart. Troops into almost certain death. When German soldier dies every seven seconds. Okay, you got your EA done? I'm working on uploading it now. Okay. Prepares for the 10th anniversary. I don't need the third right now. Did I save it? I'm sure. What is this from the sixth army? Uh. Sit and distort. Destroyed. How is this possible? <laughs> Say, surrendered. Okay, it should be there. Yep, hit enter. Okay, you put it directly into the SFB room. Okay, I put it into the uh, message directly to you. Okay, so we got it. Okay, so. At weapon status 3, I'm a drone user, and as such, I can have some drones already on the board. So I'm going to voluntarily remove the Gorn counter. So I'm still either Zinti or Klingon, and there's going to be a drone on the board. Just the die. What's left of the German army in the Shen. The man who seemed to be on the road to world domination must now watch his greatest enemy claim victory. And for the first time, face the possibility of ultimate defeat. Okay, I'm coming in speed 20. Um, 16. You got one defensive, two cutting. Okay, and I've got an ECM drone up. So that's uh, generating three ECM. So you're going to shift to one against you. Okay. 
First impulse. Let's see. Nothing moves. Second impulse. Okay, your speed 16. Sixteens and twenties move. So we're going to tip you for delivering your own pizza to yourself. Get a three dollar tip just for ordering carry out online. Only at Domino's. PNC Bank believes that if a pair of goggles can help your backhand get Third better, impulse. then your bank should help you budget even better. Sixteens and twenties do not move. move from PNC Fourth Bank. impulse. Sixteens and twenties move. I'm just going to zip along um, until we get to vote, let's say, range 18 or so. 20s move. Sixth impulse, 16s and 20s do not move. 16s do, yep. Seventh impulse. 16s don't, 20s do. Oh, I've got to get my turn mode counters and stuff. Yep. Tournament of Champions was created to crown the best chef in the world. And this year, we doubled the bracket. Gonna flop. Season preview. Tournament of Champions on Food Network. Oh, that's really cool. Wow. This is awesome. What we got here is the weekender box. It's a cocktail agent kit. I think that's really, really cool. Drop point plate, 250. Okay, can I move there? Do I need to move again? Impulse 7, Zinti ship has moved. Ship speed 20 has moved. Zinti drone has moved. Uh, fed ship has not moved. Get at the elite box at dorky.com. Stylist sends her a bunch of outfits to try on at home. Eighth impulse, sixteens and twenties move. Elite box five. Mid time gift. I guess. Beat up how. Hovering. That's what I did when I started. And I realized I can actually do. Now I use keeps. Keeps twenty five. And it only costs a dollar a day. Which Next means impulse. Nobody, nobody moves. Started. And impulse, 16s and 20s move. Eleventh impulse, nobody moves. Twelfth impulse, 16s and 20s move. Thirteenth impulse, 20s move. That if Joseph Stalin defeats Adolf Hitler, what impulse? He'll conquer your range is 20. What impulse is it? 13th. It actually gets that code directly to chat. So if you look in chat, it actually says what impulse it is. Yeah, but it's. Yeah, it's up a couple lines, but I see it. Yep. Impulse 14, if there's no actions. Can establish a base of operations to launch an attack. Impulse 14, speed 16s. Impulse 15, speed 20s. 16th impulse, 16s and 20s. All right, I'm changing speed to 30. Yep, move your ship first, then do your, your change. Range is now 16. Go ahead, change your ship speed. So you have a total of two ECCM, right? Or do you have some on your ship? I have two defensive being generated by an ECM drone. So basically that's even then, because I have... Or sorry, ECM. sorry, I, I got three three defensive. Sorry, it's an ECM drone, it generates three. You've got two cutting, so it's a shift of one against you. He's personally dedicated himself building up U.S. tank division. 
from just a few dozen tanks. Okay, we'll we... Out. Patton arrives and says that you're all good. To take control. Pardon? What are we doing exactly? Well, you were asking about electronics. Yeah, but so I have a, still have a die shift to one if I want to fire. Yeah. And when you fire, you can train the battery to change your electronics to count, counteract whatever you think I might be changing mine to. At any firing opportunity, we can always change electronics. What's that, that? I said at any firing opportunity, you have the opportunity to change your electronics. So as you're firing, you can change your EW levels, and I can do the same thing at any firing stage. So secretly, you might uh, bump up your ECCM by two more. I might at the same time bump up my ECM by five. And then whatever happens is revealed, and then the, the die rolls get shifted and fired. Okay, 17th impulse, unless there's any actions. Oh, I don't know what actions. Okay, 17, 16s don't move, 20s don't move. I'm going 30 now. Yeah, sorry, let me back that up. It's all right, 17, 30, or 30 don't move on 17. That's what I was just about to say, they don't move anyway. 18, um, 20s do, and 30s do. Yeah, that was 18th impulse, 19th impulse. Oh, what's that, uh, actually do that again. At the current range, what is the range? Range is now 14, so we now know who we are. I am the Zinti. I figured as much. As the allies take Italy, and you are West. flying. I fed HDW. Okay, you want to post your SSD in the uh, Discord? An emergency meeting with his closest ally. I don't think I've actually got that SSD. So, how do I put it into the game room one? Now the have Open the SSD in whatever paint program you're using and copy and paste yeah, it. Like yeah, I never, but what do I do in, in uh, Discord? You paste it on the chat line. Just like we did the previous day. Yeah, but you said I didn't put it at the right place, did I? You can either put it into the SFB room, which is where you put your EA, or you can put it in the direct chat between the two of us, one or the other. So put it where you put your energy allocation form and you're fine. <laughs> sure how I get back there. I'm... You previously pasted in the SFB room, so. But I clicked. I clicked on game room one. Yeah, that's the voice channel. Yeah. Well, now I see me with a blue screen and you with a. So. On the chat area in Discord, do you see where your energy allocation form is? No, I do okay. not. So on the left hand side of Discord. There's some buttons. Click on the one with the little blue ship for the Fed SFB Academy. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Okay, so once you click that, then you should be seeing the chat history of the SFB Academy. No, I'm not. I just okay, click where it says Text Channel General. Text Channel General. Yep. It's above the voice channels. Okay, now you... You changed your voice channel, so I just joined you. There's a, a voice general channel, which is where you just went to, but right above that, there's also a text channel. Oh, a text channel. Okay, general. Okay. Now, now you should. Now, where are we? Yes. Now you should see your energy allocation. We'll paste your SSD there. And I just pasted mine in there as well. So in Discord, you're actually in two separate things at the same time. You're in the voice channel general, and you're in the text channel general at the same time. Okay. 
There we go. Was it? Tano's tipped me three dollars. Only a top of this. Dad has sleep apnea. He struggled with sleep apnea, so he got inspired. He won't shut up about it. Looks like shut up about it. Click this remote. Dad! Just the button. Mike. No, man. I don't think no. I've ever seen that SSD before. Oh, let's see. Well, it's got three photons. It's got there in the back. There's those four boxes. They that can be anything, but they can't be a weapon or a power. It's basically just padding. Okay. But it does have the two boxes there at the very bottom that are, are optional weapons, which that can be anything that feds normally have. Okay, so go ahead, fill those out as to what they are, and put them into the notes. Into the notes. Yeah, or simply just tell me what they are, one or the other. Well, I'd rather not tell you what they are because one of them's going to come as a surprise to you. Okay, but you've got to you've got to list them somewhere. So, so that's what I'm saying. In the in the in the delayed notes, you can put them in there secretly and keep them until you reveal them. So go ahead, fill that out. Well, the, one, the ones, the ones that are—I'll tell you what the one, the four are. The four are cargo, just, just because they gotta be. You know, they gotta be. They can't be power. They could be whole. They could be any, but they can't be. They can't be anything that's really useful. It's, okay, it's so basically padding. So for D and E, go ahead and fill out a SOP order delayed thing and state what they are in the delayed order. You can reveal them less later. Of course, certain weapons are revealed at certain tack and tell levels, kind of thing. Well, that's kind of. I think you're going to find out what they are here before too long, but. Mm -hmm. I can see your. Yeah, that's what the range 14 is all about. Range 14 pretty much tells you what your tack and tell levels are. Uh, so let's just take a look and see what that actually is. Uh, well, I don't think you know what these things are until... But you do have to fill them out in the the SOP orders delay yeah, tab. I, 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 but I don't think... It's like kind of like Orion's. You You've got to fill them out. Yes, I'm working on it. <laughs> okay, there you go. Uh, it's in D section. D17. Phaser 3s can be distinguished from Phaser Gs. Uh, let's see what level. At level I. You know, level I for ships is range 10. Okay, so once we're at range 10, I can distinguish a Phaser 3 from a Phaser G. Uh, let's see. Course weapon discrimination. PPDs, Hellbores, Plasmas, and Webcasters, and the like can be distinguished at level F, which is 16. Okay, yeah, so I'm already within the range of knowing what the weapons are. So I have to tell you what they are? Yeah, I can see them, because I'm, I'm at those th that attack and tell distance. So once once we reach range 14, we can pretty much see what each other has for weapons. Unless you've got dummy concealment panels hiding your weapon. Commander's options. All right, just putting that into the chat. Yep, so basically those are hidden unless you reach range 14 kind of thing, uh, or unless you purchase as a commander's option what are called uh, concealment panels. Um, so just like a Q-ship, you, you won't be able to see what weapons the Q-ship has until they reveal their status. When you have optional weapons, you can purchase additional things called concealment panels. They cost extra money, extra BBV. Uh, that you can then put on top of the weapon to hide it kind of thing. Yeah, you'd have yeah, you have to actually look at that in the section. And at a certain tack and tell distance, even those uh, become uh, useless. But anyway, okay, so I got the, the SSD open now. Okay, so that was impulse 18. Okay. Next impulse. 
19. 20s don't move, 30s do. Okay, 20th impulse. Twenties move, thirties do. Let me take a look at my ship a second. Okay, so I'm gonna launch some crap here, I guess. So we're popping off some drones. So this is turn one, impulse 20. I'm gonna put down one counter representing seven drones. I'm flying the MDC, it's a drone cruiser with uh, seven racks. Okay, so that is my ECM drone that's already been on the board. I'm putting a stop order for those uh, launches. Okay, so my launch is done for that. So let me launch a shuttle. So I got all my cards on the board for the, them. So I'm ready to proceed to uh, next stage. Any actions or shall I call next impulse? Okay, so go ahead, do your order. I got no other actions. Okay, you can just uh, Type that right on the chat line if you want. And then change the name of your ship. Okay, so apparently at this point of the game we uh, lost recording of one of the two audio streams apparently. So you're only hearing uh, just the, uh, the Zenti player from this point outward. So your ship has two battery by the look of it. Let me know when you've changed your ship name to update the status. There we go. Okay. So electronic warfare change, possibly due to battery change. Okay. Next impulse then, uh, 21st. Unless there's any other actions. Okay. 20s move. 30s move. Okay, range 10, next impulse, so if there's any actions. Okay, impulse 22. Uh, speed 6 shuttles move. Speed 20 ships do not, 20 drones do not. Speed 30 ships do. Okay, next impulse, 23rd, speed 20s and drones, 
Okay, I'm going to side slip my ship. Okay, where is my drones? Unit list. Seven drones are going to side slip with me. Nope, sorry, uh, wrong one. Nah. That's going to go forward. That one is side slipping with me. And okay, I'm done. And you moved your ship, okay. Uh, and plus 23, calling 24, unless there's actions. And plus 24. Uh, 20s and 30s too. Okay, so I move again. So I move forward. Drones move. And the fed ship. Okay, calling 25th impulse, left your sections. Uh, speed 20s don't move, speed 30s do. That's uh, impulse 25. Impulse 26. I do move. Okay, let me side slip my ship. Drones move and Federation moves at 30. Okay. I'll hang on still doing my movement for my drones. Okay, so there's seven drones, two hexes in front of you. My ECM drone is in the same hex as my ship. Uh, did anything else move? Okay, range is four. Your ship does have a G-Rack. Okay, I have two ADDs. So this is impulse uh, 26. Turn one, impulse 26. Fire stage, unless you have anything before fire stage. No, I'm, I'm calling for fire stage. I'm saying in, unless you have anything before fire stage, it's fire stage. Correct. So right now you get the opportunity to change your electronics and write down your fire orders. No, this is all simultaneous. So at the moment of fire, I can change my electronics, I can fire my weapons, you can change your electronics, you can fire your weapons. So once you declare your fire, it's declared, the electronics are revealed to be whatever they are revealed to be, the shifts are whatever they are, and then you roll the weapons. My message is created, as is my uh, orders.
Okay, I'm going to step away. I'm going to refill my water glass. I'll be back. And I'm back. Still writing your orders? Orders. Okay, so you still have a shift of one against you for your virals. I have seven ECM. So it's seven minus four equals three. Range five. Yeah. Yeah, that's three three damage so far. No, that's a die roll. That's that's what you've done. <laughs> you gotta use the one that's got the text down below if you want to use the one that gives you the damage. Well, that's range zero. So you've done the wrong thing there. Okay, so three and three, that's six. So that, that'll be a dead shuttle. Yes, it was a scatter pack. It had... Uh, Five speed eight drones on it and one double space drone. Okay, okay your two ADDs at uh, two of the drones. Yep, yeah, ADDs are at range two, uh, one to three to hit. Okay, so you hit one drone. Okay. Oh, well, your range is four. So you have one, one to four is one to three. Yep. One hit, one miss. So two hit. Okay. 
Okay, so that's 30. Okay, let's see. Where's my SSD? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, three, twenty-four. So it's a twenty-four shields. I had reinforcement, but it's on the wrong shield. Okay. I drained batteries, so batteries drained during turn. I have no battery to drain. Okay. I made a mistake. I don't have four battery. I have two battery. Uh, no change in electronics. It's still the same same electronics. I would have been changing four, two battery instead of four. Um, huh, I thought I had four battery. I only have two. Oh, those are two cargo boxes. That's why. Eh. Oh well. Yeah. I, no, no, there's still a shift. I, I didn't have a shift of four, but I have a shift of two. So it's, it still would have been a shift of one resulting. So instead of a three left over, it's only a one left over. But I have nothing for reinforcement. So let's see, it's 24, uh, six, seven, eight inside. Okay, where's my ship? There we go, okay. A four, wow, phaser right off the bat. Sorry, say it again? Oh, okay, the MCON, okay. Okay, so you kill the phaser. I'm going to kill one of my 360 phasers. Uh, two is a bridge. Two is a flag bridge. Do I have a flag bridge? I don't think so. No. So that becomes sensor track. Six is a forward halt. 12, Oxcon. I do have an ox. A <laughs> damn contract, Jesus. So basically you killed the phaser three. Uh, let's see, copy all, paste in two. Discord. Ah, damn, didn't paste. Okay, do that again. Uh, copy all. Uh, I've got text copied for some reason. Edit. Select all. Select all. Where is it? There we go. Okay, so that's been uh, done. Okay, so.
Well, you, sh you should be seeing my SSD. You see the updated SSD with the damage on the number two shield? Hit escape. But do you see the damage? Okay. Okay, calling next to impulse. Impulse 27. Okay, so... Um, wow, I don't move. Shuttles would have moved, but they're dead. Uh, so just your, sh your ship moves. Yep, fed ship moves. Okay, it's next impulse. Twenties do move. So drone. I move. Let me put my turn marker down. Okay, so five drones are now at range one of your ship. Ship current electronics defensive is one. Okay, so you got five phaser threes firing from five drones. Shift to one against them. Okay, so phaser three, range of one. Rolling five. Oh, gotta use the actual dice because we're using EW. Okay, five. Okay, let me get my sheet. Four, fives, and sixes are shifted. Do I have any four, fives, and sixes? I got one, four, one, five. Okay, so the five is still a three. Okay, so 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 total. So that's 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. That's your number 3. All 18 to the shield, or is there a reinforcement? So there's now six left on your number three. Okay. Ready? Well, all five drones have just fired. You've killed two, so there's still five still on the board. So I'll call, call next impulse to see if any of them drop. Okay, calling impulse 29. Uh, your ship moves, the drones move, and I move. So I'll move first, I guess. So your ship moves and the drones move. All five drones are still on the board.
Okay, so that was impulse 29, about to call impulse 30, unless there's any actions. Okay, calling impulse 30. Um, speed 20s don't move, speed 30s do. Yep, this is impulse 30. Yep. Okay, so I'll say you're launching a plasma. Which direction is the plasma being launched in? And at this point, Discord decided to cut out on the audio. So we're disconnecting and reconnecting to Discord to get audio back. Okay, so the two players can hear each other again at this point, but the uh, audio recording apparently is completely uh, gone from OBS at this point. So it's just me commenting again. So the Fed is launching his Plasma F, firing two DDs at drones, and these NG is firing two Phaser 1s and Phaser 3 back at the Fed. Both ADDs miss. At this point, the Zinti player has a bit of a mental stroke and uh, realizes they only see one ADD on the ship, completely forgetting that one of the two weapon option mounts on the uh, Fed is an ADD. 
And of course the uh, audio decides to uh, play up again here on Discord. But we eventually figure it out. There's another round of disconnecting from Discord and reconnecting Discord here that you're not seeing on the video. And here the Zinzi player is going back through the, uh, the chat area trying to remember where the uh, declaration of what the option mounts were to confirm that one of them is the IEDD. There it is right there, middle of the chat. MBR cargo, ADD, and uh, Plasma F are the two uh, weapon mounts. Okay, so we proceed through. Discord audio is reconnected again, but unfortunately not for the recording for the video. And as Inti rolls his weapons, two threes become fours, still four damage each. Phaser three becomes a three, still four damage, so 12 damage total. And then we apply the damage to the Federation shield and get six inside. Four is a phaser, five is a right warp engine, transporter, right warp, left warp, and looks like a forward hull. And we're updating the SSD back and forth on Discord, proceeding to next impulse. Sinti moves, drones move, Federation moves, and the plasma moves. So the plasma is required to move directly forward on its first movement. We're going to HET in place and not move. Plasma moves direction A, Fed moves. Federation would have done better to launch it in direction uh, B. It would have been off a down shield, and here it would have been going through a down shield. Again, Plasma can either HET and not move, or it can turn. And I think we had a little bit of discussion about uh, required movements for Plasmas. First move of all seeking weapons must be directly forward, unless an HET, and if an HET does not move, it just rotates in place. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, and at this point, roughly, we are at the end of the turn, and we begin energy allocation. 
And I also uh, mark off a couple more drones here that died. So one of the things the uh, the fed player wasn't designating is what drones he was shooting. So those are literally like one through seven, and he was just saying shooting two drones rather than shooting drone number three, drone number five, because normally it would have made made a difference. Although here in this particular case it didn't, because all of the drones there are pretty much the same drone. They're all double spaced drones with a phaser three in the front, and. Uh, explosive module in the back. And the Zinti on the last impulse. Launches a couple more drones. I believe these are dogfight drones from the ADD rack. And he's launching his C racks, which are now 12 impulses later. Or more than 12 impulses later. And these ones are coming out as double space drones. So there's literally seven double space drones on the board that the Fed will have to try and kill. And two dogfight drones, which are there just to absorb ADD fire. In this upcoming turn, that will leave these into with five more drones they can launch, which are also all go going to be double spaces. And it can launch an additional two dogfight drones. So this turn, the Federation has got uh, a ton of drones it has to kill. And the Fed has one chance here. Uh, that chance is to not get tractor beamed. If the Fed can uh, increase the space to range four and get outside tractor range, then he will be able to shoot down the drones. Uh, his leisure if he can maintain at least speed 20 as all the drones here are speed 20 none of them are speed 32. Now this of course means that the Zinti at this point has one play left and only one play and that is to tractor the, the Federation at all costs. Now he could try doing a uh, speed 16 for the first couple of impulses then s slow down try and get to range 2 if the Fed doesn't move but the likelihood is the Fed's going to be moving speed 20s. So really there's only one play for the Zinti here, and that is to come in at speed zero, throw everything into tractor beam, and pray that he maintains a tractor lock. Okay, so we got the energy allocation up on the screen now. So we put in the, uh, the damage. And I'm basically putting a password protect on the uh, spreadsheet and then giving it to my opponent so that they can uh, look at the EA later. And pasting the EA into the Discord to give it to my opponent. And then at this point, I believe we have a little bit of a break for the bathroom. Although I may have already edited that out. So what happened here with the audio during the game is uh, at one point the opponent changed what channel they were in for audio 
and then Discord itself dropped audio. And somehow that ended up coming in on a different channel, so OBS wasn't set up to uh, keep recording, unfortunately. Okay, so the plasma hits, it is real. 20 pointer, start allocating that to the shield. Again, double monitor here, so I'm updating the SSD on a screen that you're not seeing on the video. Pacing into Discord for my opponent to see. Shield is still up, still had four points left on it. So number two is down, number four is damaged. And here comes the big tractor auction. So it's 3-1 for power. And the Fed saying, yes, he's anticipated this action and is fighting it. Bumps it up to uh, six, now nine. Bumping it up to 12. Federation is still fighting it at 12. And then she bumps it up to 15. And the Federation, at this point, cannot match it. So the tractor is established. At this point, the Federation realizes that uh, he's going to get pounded with drones from here to Sunday and concedes the game. So all of the drones that are on the board are double spaces. So it literally takes six points to kill them. The uh, new drones that were just launched are double spaces. And Although not yet on the board, I do have five more drone launches to come, which are also going to be double spaces. And two more uh, dogfight drones. Now the, the shuttle, the, sorry, the shuttle. The ship here is no longer uh, speed 26, it gets reduced to speed uh, 13. So he is going to outrun the dogfights for 12 impulses. The question is whether or not he has any midterm speed changes, but he's not going to be able to outrun speed 20 drones those are going to hit and of course we're just looking at the, the impulse here at the top of the turn and we're realizing that it's going to uh, definitely uh, definitely hit now here we uh, did have a last attempted uh, firing of a couple more ADDs to take down a couple more drones I believe one hit, one missed. So 
plays out just a little bit longer here. I think the, the drones move and then at that point that's when the Federation concedes. I think uh, he, he then realized that uh, had not launched any drones for this turn yet. Your units all in one hex can be a pain in the butt. It's opening up the uh, units list to move them. Less than one minute left in the video here. So yeah, at this point the Federation's uh, realizing we've got five more drones yet to come and we start uh, revealing the drones here. So there's the uh, double space swordfish. So those are the ones that uh, came up shot him and he had to then shoot them. And that's pretty much every special drone that I have. Low it forward, load it onto the racks. All the drones on the Zindi ship were traded in for double spaces. They were all speed 20s. Four dogfight drones were purchased. Yep, and at this point, the Federation concedes. Now that's it for the game. Hope you enjoyed it.